Alhamdulillah, he rubbed Bill Alameen. Was Allahu was Salama wa Baraka ala Nabiyana Muhammad. Wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Ajma'in. Wa Ashadu an la ilaha illa Allahu wahdahu la sharikala. Wa Ashadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. Sallallahu alayhi wa ala Alihi wa Sahbihi Ajma'in. أما بعد We have about 30 minutes to present the information at hand and this information is a number of advices pertinent to the Muslim woman and what is her role in the community, what is her role in her household. To begin with, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said describing the righteous descriptions or praiseworthy descriptions of the righteous woman, he said, أَيُّمَ مَرَأَةٍ مَاتَتْ وَزَوْجُهَا عَنْهَا رَاضِ دَخَلَتِ الْجَنَّةِ he said, whatever woman dies, while her husband is pleased with her, then she will enter the paradise. And the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, إِذَا صَلَّتَ الْمَرْأَةُ خَمْسَهَا وَحَسَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا وَأَطَاعَتْ بَعْلَهَا دَخَلَتْ مِنْ أَيِّ أَبْوَابِ الْجَنَّةِ شَاءَتْ That when a woman prays her five daily prayers, and safeguards her privates and obeys her husband, then she will be able to enter into any of the doors of paradise that she wishes. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he was asked on one instance in a hadith that is authentic, He was asked, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ayu Nisa'i Khairun, which women are best, or which of the women are the best? Waqala Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Alladhi Tasurruhu Ida Nadar, Wa Tutiruhu Ida Amar, Wa La Tukhalifuhu Fima Yakrah, Fi Nafsiha Wa Malihi. He said that the best of women is the woman that pleases you when the man looks at her. When her husband looks at her, she pleases him, and she makes him happy when he looks at her. And she obeys him when he instructs her to do a thing, or orders her to do a thing. And she does not oppose him concerning those things that he dislikes as regards herself and as regards his money. And it was authentically transmitted from the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that he said, Nisa'ukum min ahl al-jannatil ودود الولود العود على زوجها التي إذا غضب جاءت حتى تضع يدها في يد زوجها وتقول لا أذوق غمضا حتى ترضى He said that your woman from the people of paradise your woman from the people of paradise is a woman who is ودود and ولود she is a woman who is loving and childbearing, who, recipro- who reciprocates benefit for her husband. Alati ida ghadiba jaat hata tada ayadaha fi yadi zojiha. She is a woman that when her husband is angry, and she places her hand in the hand of her husband, and she says, I will not taste gumdan, meaning sleep or slumber. I will not taste sleep. Or experience sleep until you are pleased with me. And so this woman, she is the one who is loving. And she is the one who is ulud a al kathiratul wilada. She is the woman who gives birth a lot, who has a lot of children. She is the woman who is ulud a alati ta'udu ala zawjiha bin nafa. She is the woman that 
reciprocates benefit for her husband. And this is similar to the statement of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam when he said alayhi salatu wa salam khayru maktanaz al-nas qalbun shakirun wa lisanun zakirun wa zawjatun saliha tu'inuka ala amri dinika wa dunyak He said that the best treasure that people keep hidden is a heart that is grateful to Allah and a tongue that is remembering of Allah and a righteous woman who helps her husband as regards the affairs of his religion and the affairs of his dunya. He said, this is the best treasure that people keep hidden and keep reserved for themselves. And the Sahabiyat, the female companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the wives of some of the most illustrious of the companions of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they were known to help out their husbands and that which was in their capability. For example, when some of the companions made the hijrah from Mecca to al Medina, some of them encountered some poverty and some difficulty, and from them was Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And we know the narrations in which the wife of Abdullah bin Mas'ud asked about giving sadaqah to her husband. And we know how Asma, the wife of Az-Zubair, radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, how she used to help him in his orchard. And there are a number of narrations from the Sahabiyat of how they used to help their husbands as regards the affairs of their dunya, just as they used to help their husbands as regards the affairs of the deen, like waking them up to sleep in the middle of the night. The Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in the hadith, the meaning of which is that the person who wakes up in the night and he wakes up his spouse or they wake up their spouse and they pray two rak'ah in the jawf al-layl in the middle of the night then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will write them from the dhakirina Allah kathiran wa dhakirat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will write them from those men and women who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala much and often because they wake up in the night to pray only two short rak'ah of the night prayer. And so the righteous woman, she helps her husband in his deen and in his dunya. Al Munawi, he said in Faydul Qadir, which is the explanation of Al Jamia Sagir, he said, Famana Tasafat, Famana Tusif 